trying to film this intro and like no angle looks good because I just have so much clutter everywhere. So I'm just going to set you down right here, I guess. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, today's video, as you can see by the title, is a flip through of a custom order that I recently completed. This has been such a fun project to work on. I am so grateful to my client for giving me the opportunity to create this journal for her. I have been super inspired with this journal. Um, I was able to include so many different things in here, all, all of my favorite colors and textiles and charms and just, I just really made this one truly special. This client, you know, gave me an, a really great opportunity to do that for her. And I also created a small, uh, well, I won't show you yet, but a small little companion journal to go along with this one. I feel like uh, just overall, this journal is so alligator mouthed and so chunky and uh, it, it's definitely very full. And so I wanted to give her something to have a little more writing space and something that's just a little smaller. So she will be getting a her custom order and a small notebook in addition to her her order. So um, I'm so again, so thankful for for her reaching out to me and um, having the budget to be able to create something like this. Uh, it made it really fun for me. So without further ado, as the YouTubers say, let's get into it. You guys, I'm trying to record this voiceover. This is the third time I'm trying to record it. My chickens, I have four chickens and there's one of them. Her name is Ginger. She's pecking at my studio door and it is so annoying. And I finally just had to like go out there and basically yell at my chicken. So now I'm that crazy lady in her backyard yelling at chickens to stop pecking at her studio door. But anyways, on to this beautiful journal. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to have to talk through every single thing. I actually recorded a video already of me, you know, explaining like every single page and why I added this and that. And that just didn't feel right to me. So I think it's best if you just look through this on your own and listen to some music and just kind of take a look at everything I put in here. So the reason why this journal feels so special to me and why I keep saying it's one of my favorites that I've made and uh, it just, I'll, I'll be super transparent and it's, that's because I feel like for a while there I sort of like lost my spark and I'll be honest with you, I just feel like, you know, for a while I couldn't bring myself to make something like this, which is, this is something that I used to make, you know, these types of journals all the time and these, you know, really elaborate, like, detailed chunky things you know with all of the french ephemera and fancy things i used to do this all the time and loved it so much but you know i will say that since becoming a mom of two my time is super limited i am a stay-at-home parent and i'm also a creative person and you know it's hard to find the time that it takes uh, to create something like this i find that it's also really hard for me these days to really fall into sort of a flow state. So if you are familiar with that term, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then I would Google that term or also I'm going to link a video in the description box of this video. It's an, another artist. She's a watercolor artist and she was talking about flow state and just uh, how important it is. And uh, she also has another video on how some tips on how to get into flow state. But uh, anyway, what I mean is that it's just sometimes hard for me to fall into that flow state where I can, you know, really let go and make something like this, especially since I work from home and there's always so much to do around my home and with my children. So um, when this client came to me with her ideas for this journal, she sent me some reference photos of some of my old work and something just sparked in me and she sort of like re-inspired me. We worked on the cover of this one together and uh, to come up with something that we both agreed on was beautiful. And just the whole process of working with her and talking with her re-inspired re something in me. And, and I was very excited to take on her project and create something special for her. So 
Um, so basically I have been working on this one for a while and I've just been making the time for it and it's been my sole project for uh, the last few weeks, almost a month now, where I haven't been working on anything else and it just, it feels so good. I love this journal so much. I don't know what else to say other than just, I love all the colors in here. I feel like color is something I'm really, really leaning into the more I am in this business, I guess, or in this community or, you know, this, uh, the more I put out my artwork, the more I'm like really learning what I love and really leaning into, especially like, you know, expressing myself through color. And that's something I did with this journal and I did not hold back. And in fact, I probably could have even done more. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this other than just those few things that I thought I would share and just be super transparent about because, you know, I feel like we can all connect on some on certain things. And I love when people, you know, speak their truth and say, you know, really honest things. And that's why I wanted to share that I had been, you know, uninspired and felt like I lost my spark for a while. But during the creation of this journal, I felt like I, like I got it all back and I'm feeling really good about that. And so, yeah, this journal, this journal is going to be going all the way to Taiwan. My client is all the way across the world, which is so cool that, you know, my little book is going to be all the way over there. So I think that is it from me about this little book here and I think that um, everything I wanted to say has been said. If you can relate to any of the things I've talked about in this video, um, if you can relate to what I said about, you know, feeling like you are losing your spark or just kind of also just like even keeping up with the whole social media algorithms and wanting to post more but not having the time. If you're a creative person and you find it hard to, to find the time in your day to create and that's something that sort of like wears on your soul, I'd love to hear from you because those are feelings and thoughts that I go through all the time and it, it they're really I don't really know of like a simple answer or solution to that and that's why I think uh, perhaps maybe watching the videos that I recommend in the description box of this video might be just something interesting to listen to in regards to that. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I would love to hear more from, from you guys, uh, if you can relate to any of the things, the things I've said. So I am probably going to speed this up just a tad bit, uh, and you can continue watching this video and I'll see you in my next one, which will be an unboxing video of the next Your Creative Studio, uh, subscription box. So I'll see you over there. That video will come out soon, and I hope to connect and talk with you all again really soon. All right. Bye-bye.
Thank you.